Welcome to our lesson on estimating the area under a curve. So we're going to begin with this question here, where the graph shows a function y is equal to x squared plus 3, which I can just mark on the graph. And we're going to use trapezia with a width of 1 to estimate the area under the curve between x equals 1 and x equals 4, which is between these two lines here and here. And to estimate this area, I'm going to use what's called the trapezium rule. Using the trapezium rule, I'm going to split the area from x equals 1 to x equals 4 into three trapezia, where each has a width of 1. So we have between x equals 1 and x equals 2, which is this trapezium here. Between x equals 2 and x equals 3, which is this one here. And between x equals 3 and x equals 4. And to work out the height of each trapezium, I'm going to draw a horizontal line from a curve to the y-axis. So we have the length of 4, 7, 12, and 19. And to work out the area of the trapezium, I'm going to double them to make it into a rectangle when this length will be the same as the 7 here. So the area of a rectangle would be 11 times 1, which is 11. So the trapezium is half of that, and that will be 5.5 .5 units squared. And for the next one, the rectangle would have an area of 19, so the trapezium would have an area of 9.5. And our third trapezium will have an area of 15.5 units squared. So we can approximate the total area between x equals 1 and x equals 4 as 30.5 units squared. Okay, let's try the next question. In this question, we have a velocity time graph and using a trapezium width of 1, we've been asked to estimate the distance travelled over the course of between 3 and 7 hours. Before we begin this question, I want to show you why finding the area under the curve gives us the distance. Well, we know area is a product of length and width, which in this case is kilometers per hour multiplied by time, which is in hours. And you can see the time units of hours will cancel. So we're left with kilometers, which is a measure of distance. So do you want to try and work out the distance between 3 hours and 7 hours yourself? You can pause the video and resume it when you're ready. So again, we're going to split the area up into equal width trapezia. And we've been told to use a width of 1 hour. So our first trapezium is between 3 and 4 hours. The second one is between 4 and 5 hours. And then 5 and 6 hours and finally between 6 and 7 hours. So now I'm going to work out the height of each trapezium by drawing a line from the curve to the y-axis. And I can mark these heights on each trapezium. And remember to work out the area of a trapezium. I can double it to make it into a rectangle. When this rectangle will have a length of 19, a base of 1, so the rectangle is 19 kilometers, which means the trapezium has an area of 9.5 kilometers. For our second trapezium, the rectangle would have an area of 30 kilometers, so the trapezium has an area of half of that, which is 15 kilometers. Our third one is 22 kilometers, and finally, between 6 and 7 hours, we have an area of 31 kilometers. So the approximate total distance traveled between 3 and 7 hours is 77.5 kilometers. Okay, thank you very much for watching and I hope you found that useful. Thanks again and take care.